up y'all it's your girl crazy karens and i'm giving you an end of year 2019 recap Okay guys, so we're gonna we're gonna keep it nice and close, nice and tight, y'all, nice and intimate. Um I'm by my Christmas tree, y'all, okay? Cause it's still cute and uh I don't know, still feeling festive. But let's talk about 2019. Uh 2019, I, I have to admit, it was a great year. Hands down, great year. I I did things in 2019 that I normally would not have done. I started stepping out of my comfort zone, started uh, just believing that I could, started believing that if other people can do certain things, then I can do those things as well. And I, the first thing that I did was I started reading. I'm not a fan of reading, y'all. <laughs> just keeping it real. <laughs> not a fan of reading. But I felt that if I want to see different results in my life, then I have to do different things. So, um, I, you know, did like a little reading tracker in my notebook. And I'm so proud of myself because I read the following books and did the following things. So, I read um, Best Life Now, 90 Day Devotional by Joe Osteen. I did that in January, like January, February, because I wanted to read something every month but I just wasn't getting through it but we did it um in the month of oh no I lied best life now 90 day devotional <sighs> took me like four months to read it yo I read it from January to April I'm telling you I'm not much of a reader so for me to sit down and read a book it was tough at the beginning of the year and I you know, I'm proud that I did it. So we'll start again. Best Life Now by Joel Osteen, 90 Day Devotional. I read from January to April. Um, in May, I read the book of Proverbs. And in June, I read the book Got Debt by Leo Jean Louis. It's a book on, you know, kicking debt in the butt. I did a review on it. You should totally watch it. I will link it down below or up above wherever those little linked, you know, cards come out. Um, I read Unqualified Success by Rachel Stort. Again, another book that I did a review on. I will link that somewhere here. Uh, I read Back, Go Back to Your Country. The book hasn't come out yet, but I was really excited because the author invited me to be on a, um, that called y'all like a focus group you did you see that did you see that mommy brain in effect did did you see it because I saw it I experienced it um so yeah that book has not come out yet but I was excited because I was able to read it and that was pretty cool and then September to November I read the book of Jeremiah so in terms of total pages read, um, <clears throat> just the books, Best Life Now, Got Debt, Unqualified Success, Go Back to Your Country, I read 1,018 pages. And you're like, that's nothing. For me, that's a lot, okay? That's a lot. I'm proud of myself that I did that. Um, with regard to the biblical books that I read, I couldn't really do the page counts because, you know, Bibles are all different in terms of page counts, but I was able to do a word count because I did read the same version. I did was an uh, NIV version. So I read 42,923 words from the Bible this year. So that was really exciting. You're like, well, what did you do in December? Not gonna lie, y'all. December, I started like slacking a little bit and I just, I couldn't read. Like I wanted to read something like for pure pleasure. So I actually took out one of my James Patterson books because I absolutely love James Patterson and I was going to just do like a like a pleasure read and I just I didn't get to it. December was crazy y'all. So I instead opted to listen to sermons every day. So I was listening to a lot of Stephen Furtick, um, Robert Madu, Sarah Jakes, 
Um, and then like I wouldn't get through a whole sermon in one day because I would listen to it on my lunch break. So I would just, you know, leave it queued on my computer and then I would just return the next day and finish the message. So throughout the entire month of December, I kind of just filled my ears with just, you know, the word of God. So that was pretty cool. Um, also my own church, you know, days that I wasn't able to go, I, I would watch the services online and listen to, um, the word that was given either by my bishop or my pastor, Paula, or, um, the other ministers at the church. So I would do that. So I'm very, very proud of myself because that made a difference, y'all. What you put in your mind and in your heart makes a huge difference. And I did notice that I just, I felt more equipped and more confident to, you know, just get out of my rut, get out of my safe zone in life. And in February, I did the Love Me's on, um, on, I was going to say on Facebook, <laughs> on YouTube, which is a playoff of the Vlogmas that vloggers will do in December. So I did that in February and I vlogged every single day in February with the goal of doing something for me, something to tell myself that I loved myself, self-care. And that was a lot of fun because in February, if you watch the Love Me's, um, I resigned from my job. I was at a school district for 28 years of my life. Like 28 years of your life. Girl, how old are you? <laughs> okay, 28 years of my life. I'm 41 and a half, okay? But I went to school in that district for nine years, and then I returned to that school district and worked there as an employee in various roles for 19 years. So 19 plus nine was the 28. So um, I finally made a decision. I stood up for myself and I said, you know, I'm gonna move on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave. And it was hard, but I left. And I got a new job with um, higher pay, different experiences because instead of band, now it's choir, um, you know, new people and, and change is good, y'all. It wasn't an easy transition. <laughs> was not. But it was well worth it, and um, I'm having a great time at my new school, and my kids, you know, we're starting to build a relationship, and, and it's cool. It really is. I'm not going to tell you where I work, because I don't like sharing all that kind of stuff, but um, it's still in New Jersey, okay? So that was great. I, oh my gosh, I launched my, um, my Frugal Mom brand. Yes, I did. In August. Yes, I did. Started selling my Frugal Mom totes. I have sold over 500 totes. I was so proud of myself. Didn't think I was going to do it, but I did it. I also um, launched a debt tracker, which we will start tracking with that new debt tracker in 2020. Have some people that are interested in purchasing it. You know, I I don't know. I, I don't see myself selling like a thousand debt trackers right now. But hey, man, if I can get five people to either purchase a debt tracker or earn it in a giveaway because y'all will be doing a giveaway real soon and praise be to Jesus okay that five people would have this you know document this product that I created in their hands right that's going to help them just learn more about their finances that is a blessing to me also y'all my website yes y'all my, my website praise be to Jesus yes I'll be launching that real 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 soon uh I got me some long hair Okay, frugally, frugally, because I only paid like $30 for the hair and the install I did myself. I mean, the braids underneath were done by a girl who knows how to do braids because I don't, but we saved money on that. Um, and then, you know, I'm just trying to be a better wife and a better mother to my children. What is 2020 going to bring? I don't know. I feel it. it is going to bring some sadness. There's some things going on in my family and I think, you know, 2020 is going to be a tough year, but I'm excited because I'm confident that that I'm going to be fine in 2020 and I'm going to keep building my brand in 2020 and I'm going to keep growing in 2020 and I'm going to keep meeting new people in 20, it's 2020 y'all. It's going to be a year of clear vision and I'm excited for it. So what are you going to do in 2020? What are your plans? I mean, are you proud of 2019? Are you are you excited it's over? Are you sad it's over? What? Tell me. Comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I wanted to communicate a little bit more on this forum because I really want to connect. But you guys know the deal. Give it a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you next time. I love you. Happy New Year.